guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Miranda and I teach about anything and everything related to the trucking industry and how to navigate it. So if this is a topic that interests you, feel free to subscribe down below. As some of you know, I have been working on a course about how to open, start and manage your trucking company. Now, yesterday I was typing up some material for the course. I was doing some calculations on how much do you actually end up paying if you do financing versus buying straight out. And I realized that I actually never made a video for you guys about interest rates. I know that the market is so bad right now that it's hard to imagine that someone would want to add equipment to their fleet or buy new equipment. But the reality is plenty of people are renewing their fleets financing new trucks or buying their first ever equipment. So today we're going to be talking about interest rates, specifically the daily simple interest that is very prominent in our industry. And we will look at how to calculate it. Ready? Let's go. Obviously it's no surprise when there are numbers involved, we go to the board, but something I do want to mention really quickly is at the end of this video, I will be sharing how to use a calculator for daily simple interest that I made. And of course, that calculator is going to be linked down below and is free for anyone to use. So let's start at the beginning. What does it mean to finance your equipment versus buy it? Well, it's basically when instead of paying a lump sum amount, you decide to make monthly payments until you actually buy out your equipment. Now that's pretty simple. So now let's look at some terms that you need to know. First, there's the down payment. Now a down payment is the amount you pay upfront before you actually start financing. Next is the principal. The principal is the total cost of the equipment minus the down payment. Basically, this is the amount you are going to be financing over time because this is the amount you agreed to pay off. Next, there is the term. Now, a term of the loan usually means the amount of time you are given to repay that principal plus interest. So finally, there is the interest, which is the cost of actually borrowing the principal from the lender. All right, let's look at an example. So you find a 2022 Freightliner Cascadia that you really like and you want to get it. Now, the cost of this unit is $170,000. Unfortunately, you do not have $170,000 to invest right now. So you decide to finance. After applying for financing, these are the terms that the lender gives you. You have to make a down payment of 30,000. Then your principal turns out to be 140 because 170 minus 30 K is 140,000. That's the principal. That's the amount you're borrowing. And this is the amount you have to pay off over time. Now the loan term is 60 months, which means that you have to pay off this principal over a time period of five years. The interest rate that this lender gives you is 10% annual interest. And after calculating everything, they tell you that your monthly payment is $3,000. So if you're watching this video and quickly calculate calculating on your calculator on your phone, you might realize that there is pretty much no way to get to $3,000. So what gives, how did they get to this $3,000 monthly payment? Right now, I want to show you a couple of different mistakes people make when calculating their monthly payments. Everyone wants to figure out where does this $3,000 come from? So mistake number one that I see, Someone takes 140,000, the principal, and divides it by the number of years they have to pay it off. So 140,000 divided by five years. Now, if you use your calculator, that comes out to $28,000 a year for your principal. Then what they do is they take this 28,000, since it's 10% interest per year, they will add 10% to this 28,000. And this, will equal $30,800 per year with interest. Then what they will do is they will take this amount, since this is per year, and they will divide it by 12 months. If you divide 30,800 by 12 months, what you end up with is with $2,566.67 per month if you're doing the calculation like this. And at this point, everyone gets angry thinking that the financing company or the lender made a mistake about the 
$3,000 payment and is making them overpay. They think that in reality they should be paying over $400 less than they are and it becomes a whole thing. Another common mistake people make is they take the principle of $140,000 and they multiply that by the 10 percent interest per year. So if you do that, you see that the interest is $14,000 per year. Now, since the loan term is 60 months or five years, if you multiply that 14,000 times five years, you get $70,000 in interest over five years. Then what they do is they take this interest rate and add it to the original principal uh, amount. So that comes out to $210,000. And once they get this amount, they will divide it by the 60 months to figure out what their monthly payment is. Now, if you divide $210,000 by 60 months, what you end up getting is $3,500 per month in payments. And at this point, a lot of people are like, yes, they made a mistake, but it benefits me. So everything is good. But the thing is, lenders rarely make mistakes. But what we as buyers don't consider is that lenders, when they're calculating all of their numbers, what they're really using is a daily simple interest rate. So what the heck is a daily simple interest? As the name suggests, it's basically interest that is accruing on a daily basis. Now, if you're thoroughly confused, don't worry, we're about to go through this. So the formula is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is you take your principal, which we'll denote with a P, and then multiply it by the interest rate, the I, over 365. Why 365? Because there are 365 days in a year. So let's use this as an example. Our principal is $140,000. We multiply that by our interest rate of 10% divided by 365. And if you do that, you get an interest rate of $38.36 per day on a principle of 140,000. So let's go ahead and look at a chart right here, which will make it a little bit easier. Okay, so let's say you get a loan, you get approved for a loan on September, 2022, but your first payment starts in November of 2022, which means there are two months between when the loan started and when you have to make your first payment. Now I'm going to move a little bit this way, as you can see, your funded amount or your principal begins with $140,000. So then November rolls around and you make your first monthly payment of $3,000. So what does this mean? Does this mean that the total $3,000 goes towards covering your principal? And so that would mean it would be 140K minus 3K and it would equal 137 thousand? Well, no, this is not the case. The $3,000 is divided into two parts. The first part goes towards interest payments and the remainder goes towards your principal balance. Now, something I want you guys to know is that the first payment you make will usually be very weird because most of that money that you put in goes towards interest and barely anything goes towards principal. So let me show you. As you can see, out of $3,000 using this graph, 2,339 went towards interest and you paid down only $660 of that $140,000 that you borrowed. Why is that? Because of the daily simple interest. So remember, the daily simple interest is based on a daily rate. So what you need to do is you need to figure out how many days passed from the moment of the start of your loan to the moment when you have to actually pay or make the first payment. So the loan started in September. From September to October, there are 30 days. And from October to November, when the payment is due, there are 31 days. So the total amount of days is 61. Now I told you how to calculate the daily interest rate already. It's the principal times the interest rate over 365 days. So on a $140,000 principal, the interest rate was $38.36. And what we need to do is now multiply this daily interest rate 
by 61 days, since there were 61 days between September and November when you had to make the first payment. So if you multiply these two, this is the number you get. Now, if you're doing this on the calculator, you will get a little bit of a different number. And this is because I was using Excel to calculate these. So it considers all the bazillion decimal places. Um, but anyway, this is how it's done. You calculate your interest for the month by taking the daily interest rate and multiplying it by the number of days between payments. So again, out of $3,000, $2,339 went towards interest. That means that the remaining $660 went towards your principal. And that means that from $140,000 minus $660.27, you are now, after this first payment, left with a principal of $139,339 and some cents. I know it's a little confusing, so let's look at the next payment. So here we go. This is the payment we were talking about. You made a payment, your first payment in November, and the small amount of money, $660, was applied towards principal. So now what you're doing is you're looking at what you need to pay in December. The first thing you want to figure out, your monthly payment doesn't change. It's always $3,000 and this is what the lender will tell you you need to pay. Now you need to figure out how many days were there between December and the last time you paid. So November has 30 days and if you're paying on the first of each month, that means there were 30 days between December 1st and November 1st. Now the principal interest changed a little bit. It changed by a couple of cents. Why is that? Because we take the principal, which also was paid down. Remember, after your first payment, the principal is no longer $140,000. It's now $139,339. So what you would do is you would take the principal, multiply it by 10% interest over 365 days. And what you end up with is an interest rate of $38.18 a day. So to figure out how much money went towards your interest, you multiply the daily interest rate by the number of days. And then to figure out what went towards your principal, you take your monthly payment minus the interest payment and you get how much you paid for the principal. And then you subtract this amount from the previous balance. And this continues to go on and on and on until you finally pay off your principal. As you pay down the principal balance, the daily interest rate will also go down because remember, the daily interest rate is calculated based on what the principal balance is. So the lower the principal, the lower the interest rate. And that means the more money goes towards your principal payments because when you pay the $3,000, after a while, only a small fraction goes towards interest payments and a very big portion starts going towards the principal balance. So using this example, how much do you end up paying over 60 months? Well, after 60 months, you actually end up paying $39,906 in interest payments. Your total principal balance was $140,000. You put down $30,000, that means for a $170,000 truck, you paid $209,906 over five years. So now I want to make a quick note. As you remember, I said that as you pay off the principal balance, that daily interest rate also decreases because it is based on the principal balance. So the question is, will you save money if you pay more than you're supposed to? So if your monthly payments are $3,000, thousand dollars and all of a sudden you have a good month and you decide to put in six thousand dollars what will happen well what happens is you save a ton of money on your interest payments so the total amount you end up paying because the interest will be lower the total amount will also be lower so let me share my screen with you guys and i'll show you what i mean so here's the chart that i made or the table the graph the calculator uh, let's call it so again will you save if you make larger payments some months absolutely you will save on interest if you look right here the total interest paid during the duration of the loan if you make payments of three thousand dollars regularly is thirty nine thousand nine hundred and six dollars now let's say in january you decide to make a payment of six thousand dollars 
Look at that interest. It just went down by almost $2,000. Then in May, let's say you make a payment of $4,000. Here we go again. It just went down again. So that means that the total amount you end up paying also decreases. So with the daily simple interest, it's a really good idea to make bigger payments than you're supposed to and don't be late with your payments. Now I want to show you quickly this calculator that is available for you guys down below in the link down below. It's completely free. What you will need to do with this calculator is to just fill out the green portions. So for example, if you have a truck that is originally costing uh, $170,000, you put this right here. You put a down payment of $30,000 and it will tell you what your principal is. Then you put in your interest rate, 10%, and the term is 60 months. And the monthly payment they tell you is $3,000. So right away it populates all of these things right here. So now all you have to put in is when your loan started, the month and year, and when your first, second, third, etc. payments are due. Now this goes all the way to 72 months because I know that loan terms are different. So once you do that, you have to put in the days between payments. So for example, if you got approved for the loan on December of 2022, and your first payment is two months later in February of 2023, that means from December to January, there are 31 days. And from January to February, there are also 31 days. So the total is 62 days. Now from February to March, when your second payment is due, is 28 days and you will continue putting this in once you put all of this in you will have the total interest that month the amount applied to principal and how your principal has changed once you put in all the numbers you will see how much interest you paid over the term of your loan anyway guys i know that this video might have been a little bit confusing at the beginning but i hope that you got a hang of it towards the end the whole principle of a daily simple interest confused me so much when i was first financing our equipment but once i finally figured it out it was like an ah moment so i really hope it's the same for you as always wishing you guys a lovely rest of your weekend and i'll see you in the next video